Welcome, Rafter! Raft has now entered version 1.0 and it's left early access and it's a wonderful game. I'm going to quickly cover how to back up and restore your saves. And Raft makes it really simple, but it also makes it a little bit, um, how do I put it, confusing. So if you go to load and you click on a save, you'll see world backups. And you think, hey, these are the backups from the game. And sort of yes and sort of no. It does keep a bunch of previous saves that you had saved down previously, meaning about 10 or something uh, of previous saves that are accessible. So instead of using the latest one, I can go back and pull an earlier one. But because the game normally auto saves every 10 minutes or whenever you save manually, it means that it might be yesterday, it might be today, it might be an hour and a half ago. So you might have lost the previous ones that you had, like say two days ago, and you needed that because something really went wrong. So what you want to do, you want to go to open world folder path. And Raft fortunately makes this real simple. It opens up the Steam, and this is the overall top directory that you want to actually save. Or you go into it, and you can actually take the individual saves that you have here. So let's say my vet, I, vet stream. If I want to save and back up that one, I basically go to my zip and I do uh, add to vetstream.zip and suddenly I have another backup of all my saves. And if I go in here, you'll see these are the previous ones that I had saved and these are the ones that are available if I go to the backup. So they might be just the last ones and that's not necessarily always what you want to have. If something goes wrong, you might want to have one that is beyond these internally backed up ones because they're not really backed up. They do work on a rolling scheme, meaning that when you resave, the oldest one is deleted and they'll save a new one. So it's not true a true backup. Let's say you lose all these ones and I, I delete them. Let's just change the name to something else. What I do then, I go into my backed up folder that I zipped up and yes, 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 we're gonna right click here and I end up with something like this and I just pull them back in and suddenly I have them back. So what I do normally when I play multiplayer sessions, after every session, I go into here, I do another zip file and I'll date it as you can see that I've done here of a bunch of them. Sometimes something goes wrong and I've had some where it was some corruption and everything and having an earlier backup really can help avoid being frustrated because otherwise you might have to basically restart and you don't want that but that's how simple it is you just zip it up and you unzip it and you're good to go and then you come back here and you can basically just load whatever save that you want to play with if you're playing around with mods definitely i would suggest always take backup so that you don't lose anything but that's how simple it is. Go enjoy it and take some backups, especially when you're playing single player for a long time or multiplayer, because you definitely don't want to spend 10, 20 hours of game time and then have some corruption or something goes wrong and then you lost everything. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedded community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.